And the United Workers' Party has released a statement condemning the acts of violence and vandalism that erupted in the streets of Ozo last evening, causing widespread loss and damage to business enterprises and triggering fears and employees of the affected businesses. Linton stressed that the rally held earlier that day by his party calling for the resignation of Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt was unrelated to the violence that ensued, calling on the police to address what happened during the time between the two events. That was not about our meeting. And what happened last night had absolutely nothing to do with our meeting. Things to me, all I have ever said was we wanted a peaceful engagement. And we had a peaceful engagement. And all of a sudden, people who never had anything to say about anything wrong in this country, they found their voice of who should do what and who should have done what else. I did my best and I continue to do my best our party is focused, notwithstanding all the criticism and the blame. And I will just say that this attempt to put the two events together and to say it was because of the meeting that what happened last night happened. We cannot simplify it in those terms because our meeting ended hours before this happened and a lot of things happened between the time the meeting ended and the violence erupted that the police must speak to and must speak to with clarity in his statement linton condemned the acts of violence and vandalism and called for emergency meetings to be held across the political divide to address this concern today we say the United Workers Party condemns the acts of violence and vandalism that erupted in the streets of Roseau during the evening of February 7th, 2017, causing widespread loss and damage to business enterprises and triggering fears for safety and security in a season of heightened tensions in our practice of civility. Those who saw and used the meeting as cover to engineer disorder and destruction to embarrass the UWP or for other reasons know themselves and owe it to a deeply concerned nation to speak truth, to speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth because that is precisely what will set us free. Hypocrisy will not cut it. Lies will not cut it. False accusations will not cut it. We urge the citizens of Dominica to be calm and we urge the leadership of the political parties, civil society and law enforcement to meet in emergency session to agree on a national plan for the restoration and the maintenance of peace and order. Our team is meeting in emergency session this morning. He concluded his statement by urging Dominicans to stop focusing on how politics divides, but rather to come together for national development. Let's be calm. Let's be measured. And let's focus on the work of our country as opposed to the divisiveness of the politics that is always looking to score some point, some point scoring thing that always has to go on. And we'll do a lot better for ourselves and our country. And also in our news, 